let's achieve this fall look using almost all products from the Sephora collection. I cannot wait to show you how I got this, but I can't wait to show you this makeup too. Hi friends, I am so excited about this video. The Sephora collection I have done a deep dive into. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and show you some of the things I loved out of it, but this video is kind of just completely geared around so many of the products that they have in their line. I just love how this fall look turned out. I tried to keep my eyes, um, you know, a little bit more fall, the lip a little bit more fall, you know, with the warmer tones, even though I am cooler. And I think that it turned out really nicely. I just really like it. By the way, if you're interested in my shirt, I can link that for you. It is an Amazon shirt. Very, very fun. The earrings, I'm sorry, I can't link for you. However, I do want to tell you that I am going to do a dedicated video. I talk about this at the end of the video, but I'm going to do a dedicated swatch party video just for the Sephora collection because I adore all of these products. And I want to show you the colors that I got because I did get so many different colors and Just doing a look like this. I can show you how they perform But I don't get to show you all the swatches especially of the little eyeshadow palettes that I got I got six of them and they're really inexpensive and they're such good quality So I can't wait to show you those on another video But right now let's get into how I got this look so that you can see how this Sephora collection performs and and we can do a fall inspired look. So there are a few things in the Sephora collection that I couldn't find to do a full face. One of them that I've already done is I've prepped my skin with the Milani No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer really have been enjoying that. And of course, you all know that I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Shadow Primer on my eyelids. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead with my Pixi by Petra and I'm going to put that on as my corrector. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in all the areas that I normally do. And I disguise as much of my redness as I possibly can. I have a lot of people ask me, why not use green? Why not use yellow? Peach just seems to work for my complexion. If there is, if you have more of a complexion that is on the warm side, you might like some of those other colors. So I would suggest that you might give LA Girl a try. They have a ton of colors in their concealer correctors and if they work for you great but if they you know are too drying or anything like that then you at least will know the color that you like all right next is powder but this is the sephora foundation in cool beige I really love the consistency of it. It really, it reminds me so much of the Bare Minerals pressed foundation. I like that too. This isn't quite as full coverage as that, but I use it as just a powder. And any of you that have been with me know that at this point, I go ahead and I use a powder to set down all of that primer and the corrector and that I do this before foundation. So if you're kind of wondering what the heck, and I will definitely link that video for you where I completely have changed my routine and as a mature woman this is just wonderful for me so yep the color of the top just changed because I just realized that what I was going to wear in this video I hadn't changed into yet so I looked down and I changed my shirt which you saw in the intro but yeah okay it's been a day all right the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with foundation I adore this foundation from them. It is so good and it's going to be so good. It's called the best skin ever from Sephora. I have two colors that I'm mixing. This is going to be so good during the uh, fall and winter too when we turn on our forced air and the the heat kind of starts drying out our skin This is lovely and this truly is a dry skin girls Dream, but I think that even if you are combination you really would like this You just would have to set it down a little bit in your t-zone with some powder um, They do have a couple others that are fantastic that 
I like too, but this is the one that I'm in love with right now and that I've tried for so long. Um, and I'm mixing two colors. One is 30P and the other one is 11.5P. And they're both cool, but they really work well together and they make a really good color for me. I'm putting this on with a buffer brush today and I'm spraying some Max Fix Plus onto the actual brush. And then I just kind of tap it on top of there with what's on my finger and I you really only need a small amount when you do this technique it's so much better for me because I find myself not only saving foundation but also the fact that it just goes on in such a thin layer and covers so so well that I don't need so much foundation so you're gonna see how good this covers how well it matches my skin they have so many colors of this cool warm neutral you know with pink undertones with peach undertones with it just goes on and on that list is just huge as far as what their inclusive line is for the colors i love it it really covers well with one coat if you have areas you can go back in with two coats i don't need to because it's just such a beautiful foundation and i love how well it covers and the finish that it gives is just so good i'm turning my lights back up a little bit here also because i don't wear concealer anymore this works so good as a concealer i just put a teeny bit of it on the edge of that brush and now i'm patting it in and it just works fantastic and look how good it does this concealer it just makes me look like i don't have any darkness whatsoever and even if i look down you can see a little bit but not very much a foundation will wear all day it will wear like a dream you're not going to get patchy i love it so much right in one of my videos very recently i told you about the beauty sponge and going in right after you're done putting on your foundation as a mature woman you're going to find that this takes away the cake and it makes your foundation last all day because you're really pressing your foundation into your pores and boy i love this it just works so good for me when i went looking at the sephora collection i picked up these six palettes these are the pocket palettes and then these are the i love bloom palettes these are very cool these two one is um, lilac and one is violet and then these are the ones that i'm going to use today i'm going to use the cool browns and the warm brown specifically for this eye look and i love how they have done these it's just a little elastic and it pulls out and i am just going to take these two palettes and i'm going to use a mixture of them because i want it to be a fall look but i can't get too warm because i am very cool so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into this like light peachy color I'm going to use that as a transition color. I'm going to mix it a teeny, teeny bit with this color right here, which is kind of a burnt orange, um, a burnt sienna color. I'm taking my Wayne Goss number 18 brush that I've had forever. So I'm really concentrating on that color right there, which is kind of a very light peach. And I'm just going to go in very lightly, paying more attention to the outer part. And I don't want there to get too much color up here on my eyelid little bit is good and we want it to look real natural and real pretty but we don't want to get too heavy handed all right i'm going to take that same brush i'm going to go into the cool palette and i'm just going to pick up a little bit of that really kind of mid-tone brown in there so pretty but i'm picking up very little of it and i'm tapping that off a ton because it's really important for me to not let this get away from me now i'm going to stay right down here and I'm going barely into the crease. And I am just touching very lightly so that I don't get too much color on at once. Once I lay that color down just a tiny bit, I'm gonna switch brushes. This is kind of a fat shader brush or a round, very stubby shader brush. I'm gonna take that same color and then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this, more of a like a deep sienna color there. And I'm just gonna mix them and I'm gonna lay down the color that I want here on my outer lid. And I'm gonna lay that down with this brush. And again, on this side, lay it down a little bit heavier. And now I'm gonna take all those colors that I just laid down and I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just going to buff and buff and buff a whole bunch. Because I'm in love with two colors, one in each of these palettes. The first one I'm going to go in on my lid with is this one right here. It's kind of a 
kind of a peachy rose gold color and I'm going to lay that one to begin with out here closer to the outer part of my lid and then I'm going to take this really light one from the cool tone palette that's just a really light almost white cream color one and that one's going to go on to the inner part and I'm going to lay them down next to each other that's actually looking like a champagne color. It's quite pretty. As I laid those down together, you can see I got kind of a multi look, a multi chromatic look there where it just kind of blends into that rose color. So pretty. If you feel like you want more of the rose color, go ahead and just tap it out there on that edge. I'm going to clean off that brush one more time and I'm going to go over everything and I'm just going to really get everything put together so that this look just looks really seamless. All right here's the really really tricky part is my eyebrows. You all know that I have a palsy in my hands. It's a disability. I work with it but boy howdy do I not like to do my brows on camera. So I'm going to fill in this one that's a little bit nicer to me which is on this side. I'm going to fill it in in fast forward just a little bit to show you how easy this pencil is to use. So from the Sephora collection, this has that triangle tip on it and it is called the Sephora da 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 brow shaper pencil. It's supposed to be waterproof. Mine is in the color medium brown. I really like this. Works great for me. Works. It's a good color for me as well. It's not too warm. So I'm going to just brush right here in the beginning of my eyebrow and then I'm going to take a line all the way and draw that eyebrow in and then I'm going to spend some time filling it in and we'll go through this fast. I won't do the other one on camera. Before I go off camera and do the other one, I'll show you the brow gel that I'm using. This is the Brow Volumizing Fiber Mascara. This one is in ash brown. This has little fibers in it and it's gonna make the hair of your eyebrows look really fluffy and hold them in place all day and I love it. Because I am looking at fall colors, this is Olive. This is the Sephora Retractable Waterproof Eyeliner. These are great. They're such a beautiful eyeliner. And on this end right here, they do have a little sharpener and a smudger. I love using the smudger. I don't use the sharpener very much, but I do love using that little smudger, which I'm going to use right now. And just staying out here about a quarter inch. And then I'm going to turn that around and I'm going to smudge that up towards the tail of my eyebrow. Very pretty color. Doesn't look too olive green like it's too warm or anything. And I love these pencils. They stay on such a long time, but they're so easy to work with because they are that gel formula. They are just lovely. Okay, we're going to switch over. We're going to contour and bronze our face. I'm going to do it at the same time. These little um, single uh, colors that you get from Sephora, these are great. This particular one is in first touch. Now this is a quite neutral bronzing color. I like it because um, I don't have two steps. One of my favorites, you all know this, is one of these in Second Chance. If you're a cool toned gal for contouring, there is no better color. I have shown it a million times on my channel, but I did get this one when I started to test this particular makeup again, and I really like it. And I'm uh, just applying it with a fan brush. You can get these, this one from, I think, Crown Brushes, and I have another link to one that you can get get on Amazon that's very close to it. So I am just going to be contouring and bronzing at the same time. I'm going to bring this up into my hairline where I have such a high forehead to begin with. I bring it about halfway down my forehead and that really helps to warm things up. And then I lightly dust it across the whole forehead and down the nose just a little bit across the cheeks. And I'm going to go in with it a little bit starker. So I'm put more on. I'm going to do a really high contour here. That helps lift your cheek line. If you don't go down where you believe the contour is, just go right above it and it helps lift your cheeks a lot. And then I'm going to do the jawline so right on top of those little pads. If you have gels like I do, and it really does help. And then I bring it down in a V on my chin to help disguise my double saggy chin. 
I got two palettes for blush. One is a trio and then one is a new quad that they actually have out very recently. Let me get my spectacles. This one is called Trio Face Palette. It is in Gleam. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush that I have. This is an hourglass brush, which I really like. I'm going to take this end of it that's kind of just a pointed, pointed little fluffy one. I'm going to go over these two that are right here that are both um, highlighters and I'm going to place those as my highlighter on my cheeks take off the glasses helps and They're gonna go right there on the top of the cheeks underneath the blush as usual If you've ever been with me on my channel and I bring it down the nose, but not on the tip of the nose I just like the bridge a little bit highlighted there You can do it right there in the middle of your forehead if you like and also I will take some of either color and I will put it right there on my cupid's bow not far up because you don't want to look like you got a runny nose or snot on your nose but just a little far up there and since this palette right here has the more fall colors in it i'm going to be using that it's called micro smooth palette and it's in enchant and so i'm going to be using these two colors right here this one right here is kind of a satin almost a matte without any you know uh, shimmer in it but the other one has a little shimmer in it so I'm going over both and I'm picking both of those up to do my cheeks or my blush stick with your blush out here towards the outside just helps give you a healthier look than having it on the apples of your cheeks but if you're somebody that loves apple of your cheeks blush do what you want to do because makeup is so subjective and it can be anything you want it to i love this one and actually sometimes if i'm in a big hurry i just like this and then i'm you know do it over my cheeks and i'm done so this has been fun the other one has been fun too because of the highlighter but you know that blush color is a very cool color and let me tell you as i'm sticking my my finger down in all of these palettes they are so soft and buttery i love this formula the eyeshadow included the the little pan included of the bronzer they're all such a good quality that is one of the things that i am blown away with by the sephora collection is that you're getting that super high quality without getting a huge huge price tag like you normally get at sephora so i'm going to go back in with that foundation but this time i'm taking my very fluffy brush from it cosmetics this one gets asked about all the time so I will make sure that I link it below for you and I am just going to touch just a couple times I'm going to tap that off and what I want to do is I want to set where I get oily where I get a little bit bit of break apart and then I'm going to have to touch it on the corner of it right here and do right underneath my eye just a little bit and then whatever's left on that brush is going to go and buff in everything else. And I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed spray, setting spray. I, you know, I am a bargain hunter and that's the reason that I did this video. But sometimes there are things that you just love and you have all seen me many times talk about this setting spray and I'm halfway through this bottle. I will be repurchasing it. I love it. But this refer brush is insanely expensive, but I do know that they go on sale quite often for 40% off. So I sprayed that like three or four times. Now I'm just going over my whole face and I'm going to set my makeup down so that I have all day long wear. And this is a beautiful spray that creates a soft focus like powder like powder does, not like powder. They have great felt tip liners in all different colors. I'm gonna do this brown one today. I really like the saturation on it. It is a matte. This is just for my top lash line and I will show you how I line this but I am not going to show you mascara because guess what? They didn't have a mascara that I loved. I did try three of their mascaras. They all flaked and I was not that impressed with how they built up or anything. So I go back to my tried and true essence bold volume. I just, it's my ride or die. What can I say? So basically I just go in, I line from the inner part of the eye all the way to the outer part leaving about an eighth of an inch at the end. And then I immediately go in with mascara and I will do that off of camera. All right, now for a fall lip. Oh, you guys, if you haven't tried these, they're so good. They're the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liners. They're super soft and creamy and blendable. They're so good. 
they're not like the very best for keeping, you know, your lip lines in or, you know, not bleeding out. I have, I don't have that problem. So it, it works really well for me. The other thing I would say is if you do have that problem on, you know, just about any of your lip liners or lipsticks, after you put it on, just take a tiny bit of powder on a powder puff like this, okay? And not a powder puff, a sponge like this. Put a little bit of powder on there, put a tissue over top of it, flick it, and the powder will come into the tissue and just very, very lightly go around your lips. That's gonna set that. It's pretty. Okay, this one is called, I believe, uh, hot sauce. So we're doing a very fall lip with this one. I don't know what this next one is. It has a number 69 on it. I don't know what the color is. I'll throw it up here on the screen. This is their lip stains that are like a liquid lip. But what I like about these is they aren't super drying like a regular liquid lip. They really are pretty. And so I'm going to just fill this in and I am not going to like really just, you know, use the tip to put that across there. I'm going to fill it in with my finger can't talk while I do this. Blending it a little bit and then I'm going to go back in one more time with the lip liner and I'm going to just kind of define that just a little bit. Bring it up and blend it just a little bit. Now you can see that that is a very matte lip. I'm not a matte lip person. I get people tell me all the time your lips look great right up until you put the shimmer on them. Well I'm a 80s girl and I love my shimmer and this is a fantastic gloss. This is the Sephora Outrageous plumping lip gloss. It acts a lot like the bunk buxom, but not quite as cooling. But this one is in, I think it's starstruck pink. Oh man. When I put this on here, it completely makes my lips for me. This is a game changer. I love lips that are glossy like that. So I'm going to take my hair down. We're going to talk about this makeup. Ta-da! There it is. This is the final look. I am in love with this line, you guys. I think that it is just so versatile. There are so many products here. I personally was going to do a video where I did Ulta versus Sephora. I couldn't even find like three products that I really loved out of the Ulta collection, but the Sephora collection, I am going to be a collector of because this is some wonderful makeup. I really, really like it. And I love how this look turned out. I think it's very fall. The eyes are soft enough. They're more neutral, but they do have a little bit of a fall vibe. That hot sauce in that little bit of um, just kind of a rosy pe uh, peach, deep peach color for the lips. I loved that. The gloss is one of my favorites. I just really like how this look turned out overall, and I am loving this makeup. I've been wearing it nonstop for about a month. And every time that I go to reach for something, I'm like, do I need another color of that? So let me tell you what I want to do. I want to go ahead and do some swatches for you, but not right now. There are too many different products in this line for me to do just swatches right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a whole separate video just on the Sephora collection, not doing a look for you, but it's going to be a swatch party because I have so many of these beautiful products to show you, be able to show you close-ups and really talk about the products too. So hope you did enjoy the video today. Have you tried the Sephora collection yourself or will you try anything from it? I'd love to know that down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all are doing well. And I will catch you all in my very next video. Love you much. Goodbye, my friends.